presentation. I did not receive any cards tonight. However, be happy to have you address the board if you forgot to get the card. Anyone? All right. In that case, we'll go to the consent agenda. And on the consent agenda tonight, we have the minutes from the January 8th regular board meeting. We also have disbursements, revenues, and expenses in the aggregate through November 30th of 2017. Uh, the ratification of contracts, uh, the Head Start status report, as well as contract revision from the Dominic Therapy Associates, which is actually a cost savings. So the board's had a chance to review the consent agenda. I take a motion to approve. I move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Thank you. Any questions, discussion? Otherwise, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Motion passes. Moving on to our action items. We have a financial audit being presented tonight by David Van Spankerman and a colleague. We have uh, Brian Grimwald is um, our CPA, our, one of our audit auditors, our lead auditor, um, and he's going to present some of the financials and answer some questions for you. Okay, uh, thank you for having me here this evening. Uh, sure. Tonight's discussion, uh, as part of the audit process, we do issue two documents, the, uh, the audited financial statements, labeled as your annual financial report. I believe you've received a copy of that, as well as a management communication letter. Um, for the purposes of tonight's discussion, I put together a brief PowerPoint pulls information from both those documents. Um, yep, that's right. There we go. Um, just put together a brief PowerPoint. Again, if anyone has any questions on either of those documents throughout the discussion, please feel free to, uh, to ask. Uh, first off, just want to give you a summary of some of the key audit results. The, uh, the first item there focuses on the annual financial report. Uh, that includes all of your required financial statements, footnote disclosures, supplementary information, all information that's required as a part of your audit process, as a part of our professional standards. Um, that does include our independent auditor's opinion. That is considered to be an unmodified opinion. That is considered to be clean, clean or positive, exactly what you should hope or expect to see. That uh, second bullet point there, focusing on internal control over financial reporting, essentially we look at how things are done within the district. Um, we look at things like how your payroll is processed, how your bills are paid, um, and, and a couple items listed there. The first one, finding 2017-1, that's just discussing the preparation of the annual financial report, the preparation of that statement. Simply a disclosure to, to remind you that as part of the audit process, Shane continues to prepare that that um, is something we've discussed in the past. I would describe that being um, very common in today's environment. Shane currently works with about 70 school districts. I work with 11. Um, all 11 that I work with receive a similar comment there, so it is extremely common. The, uh, the next item there, 17-2, adjustments to the district's financial records. As a part of the process of working with your organization, um, you know, certainly we review some of the detailed financial information. It's pretty common for us to, uh, to work together um, and any adjustments that we identify as part of that process do get recorded and reflected in your annual financial report. So this is a disclosure to remind you that we have proposed some audit adjustments as a part of that process. Um, you know, I would, I would say this, there is some additional detailed information in your management communication on some of the more significant adjustments that we've proposed. And certainly with the turnover that you've experienced, uh, Dave coming in kind of in the middle of the stream of that audit process, um, certainly that affects the things like our ability to, to help and assist throughout the audit process. So I would say the number, the size, the significance of some of those adjustments um, you know, did increase, but again, that's pretty common given the turnover that you've had. Um, my, my thought process here, and just talking with Dave, is once you get settled in and kind of know the long-term direction of where you're going, we certainly would review those adjustments with, with your staff and go through them and make sure that we've got a plan to try to adjust, uh, address those. So those suggested adjustments have been made, correct? Exactly. They are all reflected in your annual financial report. Yep. 
And then the, uh, the last item there, just focusing on federal and state aid as part of the, uh, the audit process, um, compliance requirements that you need to follow with regards to the federal and state aid that you receive. We go through a process for identifying certain programs, certain testing requirements. Um, we've done that, completed that, and certainly happy to report that you have no findings, no issues, no concerns from a compliance perspective with the federal and state. Okay, this next slide just gives you a real brief um, overview of the management communication letter. That's a, a multi-page letter that's addressed to the board. It has information that we're required to communicate as part of the audit process. Um, the highlight there is probably the second bullet point where it talks about accounting practices. Um, the Governmental Accounting Standards Board, that's listed here as GASB, um, they've been very active in recent years. They've been issuing new standards that all districts in Wisconsin need to follow. And this is just simply a disclosure as part of the audit process. We did implement two new standards, uh, number 74 and number 75, both deal with financial reporting for other post-employment benefits. Um, again, any district throughout the state that has all the post-employment benefit trusts has also gone through that process. I just wanted to highlight that because it's new and it is referenced in several places throughout the annual financial reporting process. You did that as required. Um, the rest of the topics there, again, require type communication, really nothing that I would consider to be um, unusual, red flag, out of the ordinary. Um, there is a discussion there about audit adjustments, but that does stay in that, in that letter. 